if we go by the system, the system that is not broken, that is actually working exactly the way it was built to work, uh, we're supposed to have a First Amendment, right? Is that not correct? So for someone, anyone, I don't care who it is, to tell me I have to sit, stand, kneel, or do any type of gesture, um, I don't think is appropriate. You can take a stance, leave it neutral, and leave it up to the, each individual. Because when we talk about disrespect, it's a silent protest. There's no violence involved. There's no vulgarity. You're not belittling anybody. You're simply calmly calling attention to an issue, which I think was an appropriate thing to do. A lot of people don't know the background. Who told Colin Kaepernick to start kneeling instead of sitting? And I'm not, I'm not being mean. I'm not sugarcoating it. It was a white Navy SEAL. But in that very same conversation, he said, I think that you should kneel because we in the military, we kneel for our brothers and sisters. We in the military, we pay homage by kneeling. However, I still am going to stand. How do you tell someone you think that kneeling is a positive thing, kneeling is a good thing, I think you should kneel instead of sit, but you are still going to stand? So for me, the image that's now out there is African citizens of America are on their knees in submission while other ethnicities, whether we white or any other race is standing, locked arms, but standing. How does that look? Me personally, I like the, the way the Steelers are going. I like the way certain um, owners and coaches are taking leadership and saying all for one, one for all as a team, we're just not gonna participate. And the reason why I say that is because prior to 2009, prior to the, the Secretary of Defense providing $5.4 million to participate in these patriotic rituals, it wasn't mandatory. I mean, I don't understand how all of a sudden it's such a big deal. This is less than less than 10 years ago. It wasn't mandatory and nobody had a problem. You could talk, you could chew gum, you could spit, you could laugh, you could do whatever you want during the national anthem and you weren't considered unpatriotic. If you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off the field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here. And check out more of our exclusive content right here.